to everyone. I am Bala Amrikai, Assistant Professor of Triple E. I am going to take the subject about electrical drives and actuators. This is the subject for second mechatronics, third semester. So, what is we are going to see about electrical drives and actuators. Before we are going for an drives, first you have to see what are all the devices we are going to use for the drives and actuators. So there are many uh, semiconductor devices we are going to use in this subject. So these are the some of the classification of your. This is a classification of your switching devices. That is power devices. We can say that diodes, thyristors, and transistors. So these are classified in nature of the power ratings and how it is used. That is. Uh, mainly as they are used as a switches so we are going to see about the switching speed accordingly the devices are classified the diode thyristors and transistors At the same time you are going to see what are the devices we are how it is going to be controlled either voltage or by means of a current control in that also we can split these device uh, classify these devices as a voltage control device and current control device so in earlier days they used the device as diodes for the power conversions so as a switch the diodes are used so that general purpose diode and high speed diode and SCARTI diodes are used and thyristors the next stage is the thyristors they are as SES, GTO, RCT, SITH, GATT and LACR, MCT and TRIAC there are many transistors are used for the power controllers and power conversions that is BJT, MOSFET, IGBT and SIT. The classification of these semiconductor devices are accordingly the ratings that is voltage and current rating or we can say that the power rating and also the switching frequencies. So here we can see about the power diodes. So power diodes, this is basic devices used earlier. So power device, power diodes here anode and cathode. See we can say this as an uncontrolled device. So since we are not going to control any uh, parameters in this, thus you are saying this as a power diodes. So this is a symbol of your power diodes. Here anode and cathode are they. When what is meant by biasing first before we are going to see about the VA characteristics of the power diode a diode can work under the biasing that is by giving a biasing supply that is when an anode is connected biasing is giving a supply to the device we can call it as a biasing if an anode anode means it is a positive terminal and cathode we can call it as a negative terminal if a positive terminal is connected to a positive supply a negative is connected to a negative we can say that as a forward bias if your positive is connected to a negative and negative is connected to positive we can say that a reverse bias so a device works only under the forward bias condition it does not work under the reverse bias condition so this is the VA characteristics of your power diode so VA characteristics this is an output characteristics we can say that the your anode voltage VI we are taking in x axis voltage and y axis your current so we can always mention that you are output voltage and output current we are going to see about the how it is going to be work so after reaching your cutoff point only the diode can conduct starts to conduct so these are all the types of power diodes general purpose diodes handle power at the main frequency or below 1 kilohertz so the turn of switching time is more when we are going for the next two devices power diodes and if you are going for a thyristors and transistors the switching time period the switching frequency will be high so that only we are going for the next devices that is reverse recovery time is large above 25 microsecond the rating is 1 ampere and 550 volt or to 5 kilo ampere and 10 kilo volt but when we go for an SCS and you for a transistor, the power rating will be higher than compared to your diodes. So it is used in rectifiers and converters. 
we can say that as a rectifiers and converters means in the converters mainly we use only the controlled devices that we can call it as a phase controlled rectifiers also here in rectifier we are not going to that is the that is uncontrolled rectifier we can say that they are, we are not going to control in the, but in converters we can say that in converters as phase controlled rectifiers that is we are going to control your voltage or current so fast recovery diodes and fast recovery diode means the reverse recovery time is order of 25 to 100 nanoseconds so in earliest we can see that it is about only 25 microseconds here it is reverse recovery time of the order of 25 to 100 nanoseconds so that when we are saying it as a fast recovery diodes and the rating is 1 ampere 50 volt to 1 kilo ampere 3 kilo volt with reverse recovery time less than 5 microseconds and it can be used for very high frequency applications so that can be used in inverters choppers smps ups dc to dc converters and resonant converters we can see what are all that in the next class SCARTI diodes. In SCARTI diodes, PN junction is eliminated. A thin film of metal is placed directly to the semiconductor. Normally, aluminium is deposited on N type semiconductor. That is the difference between a power diode and your SCARTI diode. So, this is your VI characteristics. So, the applications of SCARTI diodes it is used in SMPS, AC to DC converters, radar systems mixers and detectors in communication circuits, feedback and prevailing operations of power converters. So these are all the specifications and ratings of the power diodes. General purpose diode, the voltage and current rating. We can see the difference of your voltage and current rating for the different types. So maximum frequency range. The maximum the frequency range is depends upon the switching time period. So, if you frequently switch on and off, if the frequency is higher, so we can be used as a switches. Once we are in power electronics applications, or in we are going to uh, convert the power from one form to another, or we are going to control the power from one form to another, so we are in need of a switch. Uh, we are using this devices as only switches. So, we are going to frequently switch on and off to get your desired output. So, the way. Whenever the frequency is higher, it is used in many applications. That is as we can see here, the general purpose diode, we have a maximum frequency of 2 kHz. High speed means we can say that 12, 12 kHz and SCARTI diode is 20 kHz. And on state drop is 1 to 2 volt and high speed 1 to 1.5 and 0.5 to 1 volt for SCARTI diodes. So, what is the general applications of your power diodes? Power diodes are required in almost all the power converters. Some of the applications are mentioned below. Power diodes are used in uncontrolled rectifiers. As we have seen already, converters. What is meant by converter? We have said that it is called as a phase controlled rectifiers. So, here power diodes are used only in uncontrolled rectifiers. That is, we cannot able to control the voltage or current here. Feedback and freewheeling operations in choppers, inverters and controlled converters uses this power diodes. Almost all the commutating circuits for SCR use power diodes. So, uh, commutating. Commutating is nothing but the turning off of the SCR is called as the commutation. That is, for that purpose, we are going to use this power diodes. And half controlled converters and half bridge inverters, we can use this power diodes. Thank you.